Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Doom, specifically into the chasm. Because if that's what we all need, is more vertical environments in a game where you cannot look down. That said, this guy, this guy didn't have a chance. He ain't got nothing. Also, that is a very lazy blue, blue door icon. Although I suppose if every door had a giant blue statue in front of it, you'd be like, eh, yeah, I'll save over that. You'd be like, yeah, I think that requires a blue key. Also, it's this uh, this level I gotta say is actually pretty interesting. In like a guess, like it said, it's the chasm. Um, you've got this huge drop uh, that the bridge uh, goes past, which is pretty snazzy. Huh. Hello, how are you doing? Would you like a shotgun shell? Enjoy. Free of charge. Oh, hello. And let's, uh, so we can actually see the whole shotgun, uh, animation. I'm gonna have to do that for the... I did that for Double Barreled last time. I'm gonna have to expand that to include the chain gun. Also, is there a reason why they've got just one shotgun way over there? Other than being a trap. Because, clearly, um, like, look, look at these little tiny ledges. I'm gonna, like, step over there, step onto that platform, and then monsters are just gonna show up. Yep. Hi, monsters. I did an excellent job shooting between those two guys. Oh. Hello. Hmm. See, I can hear... Something moving. Okay. That shotgun is not worth it. But I don't know where that platform was rising. Is that the blue key or the statue in front of the blue key door? I think that's just the statue. Yeah, because now I'm on the other side there. Alright, so where do I go? Also, there's a rocket launcher there. But now that I know that there's a teleport pad... Oh, hello. I was worried that I was going to have to swing around to the teleport pad, but there, there you go. No concern of mine. Okay, so that's not the path. Oh yeah, there is this bridge. I completely avoided it. This bridge that leads to a door surrounded by other textures for doors. Hello. It appears that your walls are green slime. Um... I don't think you're going to be able to hang any of your any of your posters in that. Not a very good substrate. Oh, the blue key. That was really fast and easy. Um, but let's Oh, hello.
Ah. You know, I was I was wondering if it was a risk using the double barreled shotgun to take on the cacodemon. Because, like, you've got that significant pause in between shots. There's no guarantee that uh, two shots is going to kill. So you leave yourself more or less exposed. Um, and like with the chain gun, it's a lot easier because the chain gun does stun him. So he's not really able to make any shots against you. Oh, okay, now I know where I am. The land of narrow bridges. Jeez. Like, these bridges are like pixel lengths apart. <sighs> oh my god. Um, this kind of reminds me of, um... of Little Big Planet back in the day. Because, like, you were able to make your own maps, and of course your friends are gonna make dumb maps that are just super hard. And dumb. And... I wonder how wide my, um... my movement actually is allowed to be. Like whether I'm allowed a much wider... Oh! Platform's moving up. Sweet. Um, like I, I remember there was this one specific level a friend of mine made that just had an extremely tiny sliver of platform for you to jump to. Otherwise you'd get electrocuted. And it took so many tries. And I don't actually remember if I succeeded. Hmm. Now the thing is, because there is no vertical detection- Oh, hello. Who's shooting? Is there a pain elemental? Come on. Do it. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. Ah. So, like, one of the things I tried to do with Little Big Planet uh, was when I was trying to make levels, I, I wanted to make levels as they would have appeared in this kind of, in like a regular Mario game, so to speak. So, like, your World 1 would introduce mechanics, uh, introduce puzzle ideas, platforming ideas. Rather than try to trick the player... Or to necessarily do uh, like assuming that like not assuming that the player is jumping in uh, as an expert. Ah, damn. Um, and that's something that I didn't necessarily care for in regards to uh, Super Mario Maker, because there were so many levels that focused on uh, doing ridiculous trickery. Uh, to get by. And I have neither the time nor the patience for that sort of thing. Um, or, uh, they were just basically animations. They required absolutely nothing from the player themselves. It's, it's like, uh, those types of levels wouldn't exist in a Mario game. Oh, hello. I thought I had wasted a couple shells, but I did not. Okay. 
before I hit that switch, I'm just gonna do a quick... There are a lot of demons, so hopefully just to save ammo. From my shotgun, especially since we got rocket launchers right here. Hmm. That did something somewhere with someone. Okay, so that opened up my exit, which is cool. That was a fairly good exit from that area. Alright. That went really well. Running away solves everything. Although I can't really see. Ooh. I don't need it, but... I'll pick it up just the same. So I pulled these three switches, and in theory, they have done something. Somewhere with someone. In this level. Uh, a friend of mine was criticizing me the other day for not paying attention to what switches do, which is true. In my defense, you usually can't see the thing that you're affecting as you're affecting it. Oh, hello. We got a staircase. Hmm, yeah. Hello. It's hard to see the living imps behind all the dead imps. Oh, hello. Also, I would not be I was I was expecting hello. I was expecting this to lower. Oh, hello. Uh, not too bad. Ooh. This guy. I probably should pick it up. As it's been a while since I've gotten one of those. Oh, hello. And spin... It's a good thing uh, when enemies decide they want to react. Uh... Oh, okay. React one at a time for some reason. Oh, I. Oh, but these guys, they want to act as a group. Damn it. Alright, now well, that was at 200% for a little while. It was good while it lasted. But what else did that do?
Hmm. Ah, there I go. I figured that had to be a movable item of some sort. Okay. So what have I not done? Well, I could still pick up this radioactive suit. Don't really have a destination to take it to. So, we'll see if I could figure that out. Nope, that's the starting area. I'm just gonna cut to whenever I figure out what progress is. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, um... There was that, um... room with two teleporters, and I only used the one teleporter now that I think about it. So I probably should go back to that room and see if the other teleporter is a thing. I just have to figure out where that room was. And nope, it was not in this area. It was behind the blue door. Back this way in the land of the narrow ledges. Because this is gonna take a while, I'm just gonna cut uh, myself getting to that teleporter. Oh, did I not even complete out this area? Yeah. I didn't realize there would still be bad guys here. And... Hmm. It's always... Oh, hello. Very important to make sure... Very important to make sure nobody is creeping up behind you, because this game has a lot of that. Oh, hello. One down. Two sort of down, I swear, only sort of. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta man cube us up. Take down the bad guy. Oh, hello. And one... Jeez, this hallway... Just look at this hallway. It has become a bit of a bloodbath. Okay, so now I can jump back on the narrow platform, the straight and narrow. See, okay, I don't need this right now, but I don't necessarily know where I'm going. That dropped me here. Okay, so I think I made a wrong turn in an attempt to get to 
those previous teleporters. So now, I swear, I will cut to whatever portal was required. Oh, yep, this is where I was at. So I guess I won't cut, because now I'm here. And we've got the red key over there. Or should I say we have the door for the red key? Because the red key itself is on yonder platform. And... Platform... These, uh, rise... These, uh, higher platforms always make it a little bit tricky to predict the movements of the demons. Because they're always a bit erratic. Ooh. So that also has a doorway on the other side. So if I'm quick... I can explore the nothing. Nope, oh, hello. I'm sure I could have picked a better strategy than hide in a corner and wait, but... You'd stick with what works. Okay, now I've got to go back, hit that, run back, that, all right, now I'm free to move about the country, oh, hello, now am I going to uh, fight them or try to ignore them, I'll just fight them. Because it's always going to be a lot more problematic if I try to skip any enemies in this area. Ah, and I'm back here. So many. Like, this isn't chasm. Like, the chasm is prominent in the beginning, but this is, like, narrow ledge, the level. I'm gonna go out on a ledge here. Okay. And it appears here's the exit to the level, so now I'm just gonna run back, grab that uh, uh, health sphere thingy, and then just cut to me getting to the level, uh, to the end of the level, because that is likely going to take too long, also because I don't exactly remember where it is. Eh, it's called the Megasphere, not the Omnisphere. And I'm back, and ready to move on to level 25. Ooh, I actually found secrets this time. Amazing. Blood falls. Okay. So, this darkness doth... Oh, hello. Doth imprisoning me. Hmm. Yeah, some unavoidable damage. Thank you. So let's save there. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, damn it. How do these skulls open doors, by the way? How do they navigate doorknobs?
Also, would it have mattered which direction I would have went? Because I had three choices. Oh, another Megasphere. Who is opening the door? Is it me? On accident. So there is the blue key over there, which seems like it would be useful. Now, in a previous level, we discovered that going after the power-up leads to the, uh, continues the game for some reason. So we're going to try to see right now if they're maintaining that idea. They are not. Hmm. Nope. Other save file. So, hmm. That didn't seem to go anywhere. Oh, crap. I don't know how bad guys ended up there. Okay, so I took the left path, I think. Now I shall take the middle path. Was that behind me? Yes, it was. Who keeps shooting at me from every angle? <laughs> Shotgun guy? You know, it clearly didn't work for, uh, Michael Ben when he was in the movie The Rock, so... I don't really know why I felt that, uh, having no height advantage would, uh, have allowed me to defeat the forces of, uh, Ed O'Neill. Is that what his name is? I forget the actor's, uh, actor who plays as, uh, Ed Harris, there we go. He's the, uh, bad guy in The Rock. Demonstrating the advantage of height before Anakin Skywalker ever had to lose his legs to Obi-Wan Kenobi. If he only watched the movie The Rock, he would have known that, uh... Obi-Wan had the advantage. He was, he was higher up. Anyway, I'm more or less rambling now. But, hey, that's what happens when you start talking about Nicolas Cage movies. Ah, the blue key. Which is conveniently placed next to that megasphere, which I could use right now. Oh, hello. I probably should avoid allowing that to kill me. Alrighty then. Now, for some reason, enemies spawned when I came back. So let's see if... Uh, Nobody? Okay, so I didn't see a... Oh no, the blue key was up top. Uh, the blue, uh, door. And I skipped past the... The usage of the elevator to find out what was on, uh, in this path. Which was good. Because that led me to the blue key, which would be in the next step anyway. I would have just cleared the section out, and then come back later. But now, I can clear the section out and proceed. I assume... Oh, hello. Only friendly people beyond this door. No party poopers. Oh. 
I'm glad that kind of sort of shooting the wall and the bad guy was enough. Oh, hello. You know, it might be too early to call it, but it seems as if the challenge has uh, kind of dropped uh, somewhere after, like, I want to say, like, the tenement levels. That was when I was really having the hardest time because that's, like, when I was really, really close to, like, 0% health. And I guess, like, a few levels ago, actually, I had almost no bullets for anything. So these past... couple of levels have improved my standing. Now, what is this? Decor... Nope, that's a pain elemental. Alright. I'm going to skip that because that is the bane of my existence. Also, I'm terrible with them. One of the two. I'll let you decide. That looked like an archvile. Smelled like an archvile. Sounded like one, so it was one. Oh, hello. Nope. Huh. What on earth is that? The end of the level. The abandoned mines. Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay, there are a lot of folks down there who want me dead, so I will, um, so wish me luck. Actually, that wasn't the worst way I could have done it. I could have done it way worse. Oh, hello. So many paths to go on. Oh, hello. I can go forward, I can go left. I'll try left path first. The left path is uh, directly to a red door. So that is not progress, it is eventual progress. So it is like progress. In that I know where I'm supposed to do... Oh, hello. A mancubus. I definitely waited for the last minute for that one. So left isn't the right path. Is straight the right path? Ooh. Straight leaves to the yellow key. Ooh, and there's the red key. Uh, sorry, what I meant was straight leads to the yellow door, and then the red key. 
I, ke I feel that I keep using uh, the terms like red key and red door uh, interchangeably. Yellow key and yellow door interchangeably. Even though they technically do mean uh, separate things. Yeah, that worked well, pretty well. Um, now where am I? Uh, I'm guessing I need to be on the bottom floor for that. Which is very, very odd, opening up a, a door that's way below you. Oh, hello. Damn it. I was tempted to reload my previous slate, but jeez. Okay. Now am I stuck? There we go. Oh my god. Why are there so many elevators right next to each other? I'm now back at the beginning. And you know, I didn't go down this path on the right. And that leads to the blue door. Uh, so let's... Oh, hello. It appears this area is a bit more crowded than I first expected. And it appears I shouldn't be too worried about all these bullets I'm spending because we've got ammo boxes. Oh, hello. Okay, so here is where the blue door is. I've got the red key, the yellow key is down center. Or, the yellow door is down center. Um, so let's head over, open up the red door, see what's behind there. Uh, uh, that way. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Was that overkill or underkill? Okay. We'll worry about them later. For now, we've got a blue key. And a blue door waiting to be used with it. You know, I wonder if there's a certain amount of distance I can be without attracting the attention of the bad guys in there. Ah, damn it. That, <laughs> that actually spooked me a little bit. Oh, 
Hello, how are you doing? Alright. So the path is clear. Although I'm not quite... the marine I used to be. Oh. Looks like we got some caca demons. Hello. Alright, so that's one of three. thing is like when you sh when you get a, like a good blast on them they tend to fly way way back and out of range which is very inconvenient and now i can make a right turn and take care of this yellow key and i probably should have grabbed that armor Ooh, I even got a secret while in this level. Monster Condo. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.